Hi friends and welcome back to the farmhouse. I am so excited to share with you why you need to start a cutting garden in your veggie patch, which is why this workshop is called Flowers in the Carrot Patch. So you might be thinking, what business does pretty flowers have in a vegetable garden? Most gardeners think that flowers are a waste of space and time in the vegetable patch, but flowers have been a key element of vegetable patches for centuries. The cottage garden is a prime example of this. So why add a cutting flower garden to your vegetable patch? Well, reason number one is that you are rolling out the welcome mat. Flowers are a welcome mat for pollinators and beneficial insects. The guests will come, set up house, and raise their families. Exactly what you need in a healthy cutting garden. The practice of keeping a small cutting garden within the vegetable garden is nothing short of delightful. You as the gardener get an armload of beautiful fresh cut flowers each week and the beneficial creatures are attracted to and happy with the continuous supply of new blooms. Beneficial creatures come for the flowers and then share their benefits with nearby vegetables. Perhaps the most well-known beneficial insect is the ladybug. It is a fantastic example of how nature is helping us solve a problem. One little ladybug can eat thousands of aphids and other garden pests in its lifetime, but they aren't the only beneficial insect patrolling the garden and solving problems. Some prey on pests and eat them, while others will paralyze the pest, eventually killing them. There are minute pirate bugs that in spite of their tiny 1 16th inch size will consume therps and mites. Damsel bugs will gobble up soft-bodied pests. The garden becomes home to a diverse mix of problem-solving beneficial insects that come for the flowers and stay for the pest. The routine of harvesting the flowers for the table keeps the cutting garden alive and producing. This in turn keeps the garden full of fresh flowers for all. Just as we harvest the vegetable garden to keep it producing, we need to do the same with the flowers. Fresh flowers keep all the beneficial creatures happy in the garden. As it turns out, the life of a cutting garden is a perfect match for the life you want to invite into your garden. Without flowers, pests can run rampant and create a host of problems that lead your garden astray. So reason number two is bring on the pollination. Good bugs eating bad bugs is just the start when it comes to adding flowers to your garden. Did you know that there is a community of pollinators that most folks don't know exist? Native bees, just like the honeybee relatives, are suffering at the hand of habitat loss and pesticide exposure. These bees play a major role in pollinators, in, a major role as pollinators in the home garden. They also play a critical role in maintaining the beauty of our iconic landscapes by pollinating the plant world beyond our gardens. Are you growing tomatoes this year? you will definitely want to invite the most well-known native bee to your garden, the bumblebee. They are an excellent pollinator. Good pollination leads to larger, more abundant, and better quality fruit. Our garden is loaded with bumblebees, and we give them credit for the spectacular bumper crop of tomatoes we got this year. They are easily attracted to the vegetable garden by way of the flowers. And reason number three is a cutting garden is a pathway to easier gardening. By planting flowers, you are inviting so many good things into your garden. And in turn, they are helping you with pests, pollination, and so much more, making gardening easier. Over time, the garden will require less help from you, the gardener. By adding a balance of blooming flowers to the vegetables gives nature a chance to develop into something. And that something is spectacular. Your garden will become entertainment as you watch ladybugs eat hundreds of aphids in an hour or watch little orange bugs devour a harmful caterpillar in minutes. The more you witness nature at work, 
it becomes easier to walk away from pest problems. All the energy you had been using to resolve problems is now focused on learning more about gardening and harvesting. Adding flowers is not the be all end all and it won't fix your garden overnight, but it will fix your garden over time. While there are many good reasons to go natural in the garden, the resounding reason that every gardener can get on board with is that it just makes gardening easier and more abundant. The truth is that setting up the garden to help take care of itself is rooted in flowers. Many gardeners have tried to grow organically, but have faced mixed results with frustration and often will fall back on old ways. Let me be clear on this. Using pesticides, organic or otherwise, can harm beneficial insects and undermine the very work that flowers have attracted to the garden. To get your garden on its way to solving its own pest problems, plant a cutting garden and give it time to work. Season after season of pesticide-free gardening will result, result in a large community of naturally occurring beneficial insects. There is so much good that starts to happen in the garden when you go all natural and add flowers. So what is stopping you? Start a cutting garden and we would love to help, which is why we created the Cutting Garden Course, which will walk you through everything you need to know about setting up a cutting garden in your veggie patch. Scroll down to learn more and thank you so much for visiting the farmhouse.